Nice shot. Let's see what you can do now. Let's go, man. Don't smile, kid. How much you want? All day. Oh, you gotta stay down on me. I got that. You got what? That's a youngster for you. <laughs> Just when you thought it was safe to come outside. Bet you won't score again. I won't score again? How you like that rainbow? We're not done. Excuse me. Had enough? Well, look here. Sucker. You reach, I teach. Oh. We'll see. Lesson just started. Come on. That's ugly. Could have done. You should have done. Fucking me up so much that I didn't even want to bring him in. Instead, I just want to stick with the clutch lineup that I know and love. The double team is on Lillard on the baseline. Jordan is wide open on the top of the key. Punch it in. Kobe MJ coming through in the clutch. I know I just need that one stop to give me the cushion basket to seal the game and I get blown by by Kevin Durant once again. I literally can't stop Durant's dunk scenes and the zigzag mid-range. So I'm going to give it to MJ one more time. In his last game, he need I'm going to win it or lose it. Goes up for the shot. It's off. Shaq with the rebound. I see Paul George at the top of the key. Three for the lead. I just need to pick them on GOAT because I don't know when the fuck they're going to do him again. They've had so many moments to do him. His game six winner, game game six game winner versus Utah for his sixth ring, the flu game. Like there were so many opportunities to do a code of his, but But the Cavs had one obstacle standing in their path. Michael Jordan. An obstacle that seemed to grow larger with every game, as Jordan was carving up the Cleveland defense. Two minutes to go. The Cavs have a foul to give. Jordan on the drive. Michael took it upon himself to lead them back, almost single-handedly keeping his team in the game. As the game entered its crucial stretch, Doug Collins watched his young superstar continue to dominate. Jordan was relentless, and it seemed there was little Cleveland could do to stop it. 11 seconds to go, in the middle of the floor, Jordan has it, and Jordan puts up a jumper, and hits with 6 seconds to go. The Cavs were just 3 seconds away from eliminating the upstart Bulls, and advancing to the next round. But those three seconds would have an impact for years to come. It would be a defining moment, not only for Jordan, but for the Chicago and Cleveland franchises. And it all came down to one shot. The inbounds pass comes into Jordan. Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Good! The Bulls win! They win! Hello there, Pink Diamond fucking God. Nice to meet you and welcome to the New York Saints. I think this just tops it. I don't care how many locker and it's funny because I have literally every Pink Diamond player except Bird and Curry. And I really wanted Curry because I just as a Nick fan I need to put him on a Nick jersey and Bird is just post fade cheese. But the fact that I got this, I would have given up every single Pink Diamond card I had, including LeBron, to get this one. But you know what? Shit just turns out in my favor, apparently. None of that customer service pack shit. Pink Diamond Jordan, legit, when they dropped this special for him and his Michael Jordan edition, which I'm actually considering getting for 2K16. But at the same time, I now have Pink Diamond Jordan and Pink Diamond LeBron. I think, I'm not sure if I'm one of the only YouTubers that have it. I haven't seen any YouTuber with both of them yet. But I have both of them, but I know people who have both of them, but just not another YouTuber. So that is pretty cool. They are both officially fucking starting. There's no question about that. Rip Pink Diamond Mellow's Dream sits on the bench. You are now my sixth man like the Olympic team. And there is nothing that needs to be said for this card except everything is 99 and even his rebounding is a fucking 80. He rebounds better than silver fucking centers and big men. Like, how does that work? I don't know. Anyway, yo, that just means that I have no other card in the game that I even, even need to remotely think about getting. This MT is just sitting there for show at this point. And if you're following me on Twitter, you know what I'm trying to do with this MT. You know who I'm trying to play. I'm not going to ruin the surprise, but if you follow me on Twitter, then you know what might be coming up. We'll just see what happens in the upcoming week. That's all 
all I'm going to say. So now I'm just going to try to play a couple wager matches, get some more hidden gems in here and there, and just do some random shit that I feel like doing. But after I get Michael Jordan, no, basically my team is done. It is done. It's over. There's nothing left to do, even if I fucking tried. So yeah, I might actually end up doing that hidden gem road to playoff series just for the fucking lulls at this point because I'd probably just get equalized in road to playoffs with a team like this. I'd get fucking scorched by David Thompson and then get out rebounded by Gold Joe Kim Noah. But either way, I can say that I have the best two cards in the my team mode and the best dynamic duo possible. Now, I will await the salt in all of my comments.